coming at you with the Harry series video. Um, well, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to be going to the Dark Zone a bit. So before I go into this, what I'm wanting to go into, let me adjust the audio. Alright. I'm still a little bit sick, but I can still talk. So, as you can tell, well, as some of you can tell if you follow me for a while, I used to be a part of Freedom Network. I was proud to be part of Freedom Network. A couple months ago, I left Freedom Network to join Creative Nation. Nothing against Freedom Network. I have nothing against Freedom Network now. I'm actually planning on going back to Freedom Network. The only reason why I joined Creative Nation is because they promised me a higher CPM. <clears throat> so, promise me that, you know, promise me a higher percentage, all that stuff. And another thing they promised me was that I would be taken care of when it comes to, um, hold on, there we go, that'd be taken care of. When it comes to, you know, something happens to my channel or to me, they would help take care of me, you know. They promised me all that. And they were after me for, like, months, begging me to join Creative Nation. So I finally did. Things are going all right. I, I really didn't have any issues. I, I actually kind of liked my, uh, my stay as part of Creative Nation. Now, oh, oh there's stupid people here. Now, the issue came about when a, uh, I'm not going to say any names, but a former co-worker of mine decided that, uh, sh her, well, not really her, but it was mainly her mom, wanted to take videos of both me and a, a friend of mine videos that we did not agree to let her, you know, use and take, and say, oh, we're going to put you on YouTube. Now, to a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, Dark Souls video, what's the issue with that, you know? Well, here's the issue. By law, it is illegal for somebody to uh, take a video of you, post it to an online forum without your permission. And if you expressly tell them that, hey, I don't want you to be putting me on YouTube, they have to comply with that. If they try to uh, still put you on YouTube, that's not right. That is illegal. Um, especially if you were in the workplace and it is against the company policy of that workplace. Yeah, that's not right. And I have actually looked up the law about this. And yeah, it's pretty sound. So I asked my, oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dying. So I asked, you know, Creative Nation, hey, can you help me out with this? Cause she's gonna put me, her mom's gonna put me on YouTube by face and start saying a whole bunch of slander about me on YouTube. She knows I have a YouTube channel. I don't want my face out there my other friends, they don't want their face out there. They own their own YouTube channels as well. It's not that I'm afraid to show my face on YouTube. I just want to keep my own personal stuff outside of the, the YouTube, in a way. Um, you know, pretty much an animus to the, I don't even know if I'm using the right words, but hopefully some of you understand. Well, they, at first, they said, oh, well, tell us the situation. So I explained the situation to them, thinking that, okay, they're going to have my back. They have my back with everything else. They're going to have my back with this. No. All they kept doing was saying that you're going to have to have the police handle that. I told them, I have already talked to an officer about this. They said that if it is online, that I have to talk to my CPM, my, my network. 
that's who I have to talk to to help me get it removed because that's the fastest way to get it removed and not only that but I have their channel flagged is if not only I go after them but also you know the network I'm under so creative nation did not do a damn thing about it all they kept saying was oh we can't do the thing we can't do anything at all keep in mind I'm telling them uh, not only do I know that they can I've talked to other people who have been a part of creative nation and even they have said that uh, creative nation can do something because creative nations helped them in the past with something similar Now, I don't know if it's, I'm not going to say it's all of Creative Nation's fault. I'm going to say it's the one person that I was talking to. Now, this person I was talking to, also at the same time, oh, I'm about to die, I need to run. So, this person I was also talking to, they wanted to try to say, oh, well, you need to stop. Uh, submitting tickets because there's nothing we could do at this point. I was really fed up. I was really annoyed I was already annoyed at another Aspect about creative nation with the fact that I have been with them for two months, right? Two months of being with them now one thing I liked about them. What's the other thing that was the same thing I liked about uh freedom? There's no threshold meaning no matter what you make from your videos in a month you will get that amount you know paid to you you'll have to wait until you get like six dollars or whatever and then they'll pay they will just pay I love that so I know that I didn't have to make a threshold now creative nation has not paid me a dime for any of my videos for the past two months. I have looked at my PayPal. Not one dime from Creative Nation has been sent to my PayPal. And I put my PayPal information in my account when it came to Creative Nation. I made sure it was there and I looked at the payment history. Uh, later on, I'll edit this video so I can put a screenshot of my payment history right here. And you can see, not one payment from Creative Nation has been given to me. Not one dime. Now that is extremely wrong. So I got fed up with them. I said, you guys aren't gonna help me at all with this, with something I know you guys can help me with. Not only that, I've talked to Freedom, the network I used to be a part of. They even told me, yeah, if somebody's doing that, we will have your back 100% and help you out. So, tell me why Creative Nation can't do that. Huh, Creative Nation? Tell me why you can't do that. I, I, I would love to know why you can't do that, but Freedom, a network that you claim you're better than, is instantly able to say, hey, we will help you with that. It's not right that Creative Nation will do a damn thing. We're going to help you if you, you know, when you come back to us. And I know they're not only saying that just to get me back, they're saying that genuinely. We said why is because I know the people that was telling me that. The people that were telling me these things are very genuine people because I've dealt with them before in the past. But uh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I get distracted with what I was saying. But, um, so, just to say, I unlinked myself from Creative Nation about oh, two weeks ago. About, oh, two, about two weeks ago. I unlinked myself from Creative Nation. I told them I was going to unlink myself from them, and I was going back to freedom. This genius of a person from Creative Nation decided to get attitude with me 
and tell me that, that number one, they completely skipped over the fact that I told them that they have not paid me one cent, which technically, yes, I could sue them for. Now, I know that I'm not going to get, you know, it's not too much money, you know, I'm not in a huge channel, it's not like I'm missing hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it's the principle of the thing. It's the principle of the matter. Okay, we're talking about principle here. If you promise somebody something, you better damn well deliver that damn promise. So, I told them, look, I am done with you guys. I'm going back to freedom. I already unlinked myself. This is pathetic, the kind of treatment I've gotten from you guys. I'm done. This, this person sent me back a response telling me never to uh, submit another ticket again or they will instantly close it without even looking at what I'm typing. So they will even r respond or even look at anything else I say. Even though I told them over and over again, you owe me money. But they skipped the fact that they owed me money. And if this person said, I have scheduled your account to be unlinked. Actually, let me read it right now. I have it pulled up on my laptop. Okay. Today is June 10th. Well, right now, because it's midnight. But this support person typed this. June 7th of this year, 2016. Hi, I have now scheduled your channel to be unlinked on April 7th, 2016. How the shit are you going to unlink my account in April when it is June? Do you have a TARDIS? Are, are you a Time Lord? Or, or do you have a TARDIS? Are you going to go back in time to unlink my account? Really? And that's fucking dumb. Number one, I already said I unlinked. I unlinked before. So when I checked my uh, account info on YouTube, I checked all my channel stuff, which I do about every other day, where it showed that I was scheduled to be. I should have been completely unlinked uh, next week. Next week, I would have been officially unlinked, and I officially. Would have been able to go right back to freedom. Because so I, I talked to well, four people in freedom support. And I talked to George himself. So I looked at my YouTube information. My channel information on YouTube. My request to be unlinked from Pierre Nation was gone. They, they refused me to unlink from Creative Nation. Meaning that I had to request to be unlinked again, and I have to wait four more weeks again to be unlinked from them. How are you going to say that you can leave from a network at any time? Any time. That's what they say. You can leave the network any time. You know, no locked in contract. Yet, when I try to leave, you refuse to let me leave. I don't fucking understand that. When I try to leave, you refuse to let me leave. But then tell me you're going to schedule me to leave in April when it's fucking June. So, until... I am, you know, unlinked officially from Creative Nation. I refuse. To, I, I know I'm not going to be getting any money. By the same time, my job that I have is my main source of income, so I'm not too worried. I refuse to monetize any of my videos, my live streams, my reviews, uh, my panel coverages, um, at conventions. Nothing will be monetized. Why? Because I refuse to make money for Creative Nation 
and not get shit back from them. They're not gonna get anything from me anymore. And so, yeah, if anyone is wondering, oh, should I join Creative Nation? I heard good things from them. No. Uh, this, well, I know some people might have, you know, may have good stories about being part of Creative Nation, but from my experience, it's not worth it. It's really not. Ah, uh, okay, I got taken down by a rogue, you're an asshole. Anyways, no. I never been good at Division of I always sucked at it. <laughs> so, no, it's not worth joining Creative Nation. Not when they do stupid shit like that. So, I know Freedom, their split is a 60-40 split. 60 in my favor, 40 in their favor. Creative Nation is a 90-10 split, 90 in my favor, 10 in theirs. Even though, honestly, it's been 100% in their favor and 0% in mine the entire two months. I'm not, I'm done. I know, I've said it over and over again, but I'm done. And I am definitely going to be talking to a few friends of mine to see if there is a way I can force them to pay me the money they owe me. And if there is a way I can pursue this legally. Because I'm not afraid to take this to court. I don't care. I will take it to court. Because they owe me money that I have not received. Yeah, it may be a few dollars, but I don't really give a damn. It's the principle of the matter. They owe me money for hard work I made. I will get paid for my hard work. I'm sorry. They're not going to keep all the money that I made for them. <sighs> so, sorry guys. I know normally I don't make serious videos where I get really annoyed and mad about something, but there's just something that need to be said. Um, yeah. Um, but don't worry. I'm still going to be making my live streams of Mirror's Edge and, uh, you know, I'm still, oh, I, I am going to finish Game of Thrones. I have one more episode left and I'll be done with it. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm gonna, I can't live stream Burning Blood, One Piece Burning Blood, but I can live stream and record my online fights in One Piece Burning Blood, so I, I'll definitely do that. Um, still gonna be st streaming some smite matches with one of my friends from work. So, nothing's really gonna change my channel at all. Well, nothing's gonna change for the bad. If anything, good things are gonna come soon. Especially when I move back to Freedom, expect a lot of brand new things coming your guys' way when I move back to Freedom. A lot of things are going to change, but it's going to be for the best. Um, there'll be prizes that I'll be handing out to people again, um, contests, a lot of things will be going on. So, guys, uh, I'm not going to ask if you liked the video or anything like that, but if you did, you know, hit up that like if you want. Um, if you have any, you know, personal stories you have about Creative Nation or any network for that matter, feel free to discuss that in the comment section down below. You know, tell people your stories of uh, networks, what networks you joined, uh, what networks you suggest to other people, and why. And yeah, until next time, guys. This Dark Styles video, still recovering from a cold and sucking like hell at Division because I haven't played it in months. <laughs> Signing up.